El estilo de vida mediterráneo, bueno, se puede reducir a disfrutar el momento, <risa> su gastronomía. ¿That's it? <risa> el carácter de la gente de la tierra. Yeah, for good. So... Oh, no, no. <risa> y olé. Hey. I'm Dino Bonacic, editor, broadcaster, lecturer and fashion tourist. And this is your ultimate guide to experiencing Spain through the eyes of locals. No lists, no spreadsheets and barely any Spanish. <laughs> Just an insatiable hunger for new adventures and fabulous accessories. Join me on the Spanish odyssey that embraces the unknown. Do you have any recommendations? Much more than San Si and Sangria, Spain makes you feel like you're crossing centuries and layers of history, yet also living in the moment. My first port of call is Barcelona, a cultural mecca in Spain-style capital. If Barcelona was a dish, it would be chicken croquettes, calivada, and chocolate bombs. I'm meeting photographer Solbella at Mercado in Cannes. Flea markets are where I go first in every city, and Barcelona didn't disappoint. I brought you here because it's a place that you can find anything. If I usually come here to get my photography material, cameras, fabric. Flea markets are a perfect place to kind of get to know a city. Judging by Encant, it feels like uh, Barcelona is quite chaotic, it which is. I love. <laughs> If Barcelona was a drink, it would be vermouth. Sexy, sweet, and persuasive. Sol told me about this really fab designer showroom, and one of its rising stars, Aitor Goicochea, agreed to show me around. Hola! Hi! So much stuff. I mean, yeah. I love both of these. What's the fashion energy like here? I think I could say, like, it's camaleonic. Uh, anything you could find or you could want in a city, you can find it here. I want to know, what are some of the phrases that I need to know to get down with the fashion kits here in Spain? Okay, so if you like something, like, really much, yeah, uh, you should say, it's chulísimo. Chulísimo? That's right, yeah. Okay. It's, like, so pretty. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Know? You are chulísimo. Yeah. Your outfit is chulísimo. Totally. I love these shoes. Do you yes. know where they're from? It's actually from a local shop called La Manuel Albargatera. A hop, skip and a jump away. And here I am in my espadrilles heaven. This business was founded in 1940. And the founder thought to make something more with espadrilles. Espadrilles at the, that moment were just for workers, farmers. Nobody thought to make a fashion thing of yeah. espadrilles. And this. that's the one that Salvador Dali wears, right? Yes, yes. yes. That's why we love them. Use it even <laughs> with tuxedo. Yes, exactly. They want to learn how to tie it properly, traditionally. The important thing is the crossing here, okay. so it holds all yeah. of it. So then you can go dancing or Amazing. running, whatever. <laughs> okay, I need to get a pair then. In pink, please? It doesn't get any better than listening to locals' advice. For example, the delicious oysters and vermouth combo I never knew about. My next port of call is Valencia, this year's world design capital. Sorry, can I get a map of Valencia, por favor? To help figure out my itinerary, I DM'd a true Valenciana. Pepa Salazar is a fashion designer inspired by the city's rich rave heritage, making her the hottest property with today's Spanish pop stars. I know I'm here for the art and design, but I really couldn't resist some shopping. How did you know I'm a total hat fanatic? You look like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that this is the oldest hat maker in all of Spain. Yeah, over 200 years. Here, uh, we're from two different genres. You're a Western? Yes. And I'm a cartoon? Absolutely. <laughs> Love it. In terms of food and drink, what is something that I absolutely have to try while in Valencia? Paella, for sure. OK. And horchata. Have you tried it? No, I have no idea. What is horchata? You're going to love it. It tastes a little bit like earth. OK. Si Valencia fuera un postre, sería un arroz con leche de horchata. Si Valencia fuera un plato, para mí sería la yipeble de anguila. No todos son paellas. After trying Pepa's earthy recommendation and sending my mom a postcard from Mercado Colón, I'm heading to the city's cultural hotspots. Jugaso Crujiente embodies the next generation of Spanish drag. And lucky me, they invited me out with their friends. So, uh, Jugaso Crujiente came to be in Valencia. Mm -hmm. 
How did it happen? I don't know. It, it feels like my essence was born here. One of my classmates took me to Rusafa and I met there the first drag queen I met and he proposed me to start working as a promoter. That gave me the opportunity to express myself uh, a little bit more, a lot more. Can you tell me a bit about what Valencia's nightlife offers that you can't get anywhere else? One night you can feel more pop, or more techno, or more rock, and that's the magic of the city. It has everything for everyone. Can't wait to party later. The final stop on my odyssey is Andalusia, a region with a multicultural history and music around every corner. Si tuviera que describir Andalucía en tres palabras, serían sierra, calor y cuna. On each trip, you need a moment of silence. I found mine at Cuevas del Pino, a quaint hotel set in a stone quarry. What's the next stop in my journey? Where am I going next in Andalusia? Si Andalusia fuera un plato de comida, sería el gazpacho. Andalusia is beautiful animals, flamenco, horses. Hi, I'm Dino. Hi, Julia. Lovely to meet you, Julia. What's his name? Manzanillo. What does that mean? A uh, tree. A tree, a type of like tree. Like He's got gorgeous fringe. He's a real fashion mm -hmm. horse. I've never ridden a horse, by the way. My first time, so I'm excited. When can I be in the show? Today. Okay, amazing, <laughs> deal. It's all about the charming winding streets made for getting lost. Friendly locals to get you back on track. More fans and other accessories to help beat the heat. That's until I visited a local eatery with Paco Morales a two Michelin star chef whose dishes bring stories of Andalusian past into the present. Okay. Paco really taught me that a Spanish way of eating is a slow way of eating, which can be hard for me. Very hot, be careful. For me, the three flavors that represent Andalusia are the flor de azahar, the canela and the almendra. My next stop is Seville. Do you have any recommendations? My recommendation in Sevilla, sin duda, is Plaza de España. Para mí, sería como si cierro los ojos y estuvieras en Marrakech, pero en Occidente. I could totally get used to a slower pace of life. There's always more to see and do and learn. Andalucía, en tres palabras, sería belleza, historia y buena vida. Illustrator Anna Jaren promised me the most artistic walking tour of Seville. Tell me, Anna, where are we today? In Casa Pilatos, this gorgeous palace from the 15th century. It is so intricate. What is the most unique thing about Seville for you? For me, I guess it's the horror vacui concept that, well, we are surrounded by, is when you fear to leave something with no information, so everything is full and it's kind of baroque. What are some of your recommendations mm. um, of where I should go, what I should do while I'm here? Have you tried flamenco yet? España es amor, luz y amistad. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Qué dulce soy. For the last chapter of my trip, I got to meet dancer and choreographer Manuel Iñan, who's challenging Flamenco's traditional gender roles. I even got a private lesson. Palma sorda. Okay? Chiquilla, 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 remate, tres, y toma que toma, ya está, ya está. 
Watching Manuel move in front of my eyes really made me connect with flamenco in a new way. As this fashion tour departs, my main lessons are talk to strangers, ask questions, and don't be afraid to travel alone. Spain is eating with friends, drinking with friends, and dancing with friends. Olé! <laughs> Muchas gracias.